welcome to the highlights of this first ODI between Pakistan and West Indies women for the Trans Group Present Jazz Series. West Indies skipper won the toss and they decided to have a bat first. Here are the two lineups. Bowling it slow in the air to start off these proceedings. In the air and gone. Sadia Iqbal strikes. That lack of pace. And Williams just couldn't resist the temptation, but couldn't get to the pitch of the ball and looped it straight back to Sadia. She's a tall girl and she caught it safely. She was there for seven deliveries. She took her time, but maybe getting that. The pressure of the scoreboard getting to her, she needed to go big and uh, that's a good catch too. Just waited enough for that jump. Wanted to play it towards that long on area, just could not quite get that control. She should be disappointed. Rashida Williams have to walk back after scoring just one run. Again, beautifully driven. First boundary of the match and the series going to Matthews. Just leaning into it towards that mid wicket area and getting herself a boundary. Into her third over, Diana, that swing that she was getting, slightly diminishing. This one just held its line, turned up into a leg stump half volley, and how beautifully Matthews played it. Just the roll of the wrist. Yeah, first sign of aggression. Really the first sign. It's been a very quiet morning with the bat. Getting that boundary, taking uh, the score into the 20s, start of the 8th over. Just need to get a push out here. Seems like they're being extra careful. That wasn't really a very good ball though. Had to be put away. This is the experience for you, Shaman Campbell, who is coming over here, not on the back of a very good set of experience over there. Nicely cut away into the gap. That should help its way to the boundary. The outfield is quick. It's good. Big boundary square of the wicket, but uh, enough on that. It's got that confidence that she can go on the top of the bounce. Width offered, overcompensated perhaps as compared to the first delivery of the over. That should be a boundary, yes. Some power and bit of timing on that. Wasn't that short though, but she was quick to use the depth of the grease to pull that away. Yeah, rocked on to the back foot and made it look quite ugly for Sadi Akbal. And this is the experience which is going to matter for this pair for West Indies. Found the gap again. They should go to the boundary. So the runs are now coming in. Four boundaries in a span of an over and four deliveries. Smart cricket from the captain, and now she is making the bad talk. A bit of gap given in the covers region and made full use of it. No chance whatsoever for the fielders. Down the wicket and just goes, dives over it, Diana. Has gone to the boundary. Takes the score into the 40s, 41 for one and West Indies average power play score has been 42 in the ODI since the year 2022. So they're keeping up with that and taking the score into the 40s. She's got the pace and uh, of course the talent to make use of that new, new ball. Well, she's welcomed with a boundary through the covers. Nice looking shot. She's tall, so she's got a good reach just leaning into that. Nicely driven. Word given on the very first ball and made full use of it. Nicely driven. The length was wrong. Allowed her to play it through the line. A bit of jump by Fadma Sana. But no chance for her to stop. 
play with ferocious intent. Down the ground, no risk involved. Nicely done. Over extra for a boundary. It's not an easy shot to play, but she's got enough power. Matthews puts that away because of the lead and the room given. This is in the air and over the top. Field was up and that has actually gone all the way. Magnificent strike. Hardly seemed to have hit it. And that really went a long, long way. Wow, just like a boxing match. Blow after blow. And this was a ball pleading to be hit, but brilliantly taken on the head by West Indian captain. There it is, 50 for her. Slightly wider. Once again, used good use of the reach. And that 50 will bring her up. Seventh 50 in international cricket. Second against Pakistan. And that is also 100 for the West Indies as the skipper raises her bat to the gallery. Well played, Halle Matthews. And yes, some brightness on the ground as well to celebrate her 50. She is continuing her purple patch of form. The girl from Barbados, the West Indian captain. Got that in style as well. Played that in the gap. A very narrow one, but made full use of that. This is a googly, this is a big shout, and the finger has gone up. Brilliant piece of bowling from Tuba Hassan. She really bamboozled Campbell there. After bowling a few quick leg breaks, this one was the googly, went the other way, and Campbell had no clue. He will have to walk back. She is looking disgruntled, and perhaps the reason that she was prodding his foot in front. Not expecting that a scene from Abdul Mukhid in a bit of middle and clearly the option was also visible but Tuba perhaps was clearly deserving her wicket. Ball with a lot of heart and finally got her prize. Shimon Campbell after that remarkable innings has departed. Beautifully bowled. The shout is big and the finger has gone up again. Tuba is delighted and this is a big wicket. The big wicket of Stefani Taylor. And Tuba Hassan is really on fire here. The youthful exuberance of Tuba has been the winner. At that occasion, Stephanie oh. Tiller on the back foot. No second line of defense. Brilliant set of balling by the young leg spinner. No hesitation whatsoever. This time, and a brilliant wicket. Pakistan are roaring back in this game. Matthews and her class. So much timing and a bit of power. Well, it was a short delivery. A very short delivery. And Matthews is actually very good at her back foot. Have a look at that shot. It just won't stop even if you have fielders right there at the back if you're bowling that length drag it from outside off just around that off stop and play it in that fashion I'm just wondering that the boundaries are pretty big square of the wicket if you bring in the deep fielders slightly in you can stop those twos that's a very good shout that's hit on the fall yeah delayed and it's out had to be that was dead in front 99 to her name now. Well, as I said, Nation is an ex ex aggressive player and this is one wicket for Nida Dar. He's pitching on the middle stump. This is the line Nida needs. And turning it away from the... Turning it in towards the better. First wicket, 99th wicket for Nida Dar. She might get her 100 in this innings. Nation goes for 17, it's 138 for 4. That's a nice uh, shot. It's just uh, a very welcome boundary. Well executed. And also found the gap just to beat that deep mid wicket fielder. Come on, guys, yeah, come on, guys! Timing on that. 
Yeah, there are certain players who take a liking towards a particular side. They score a lot of runs against them. Chipped in the air, but in the gap. And it will be a boundary. Better effort was required. It has been a mixed day in the field for Pakistan side. Diana Beg is usually a prolific fielder, especially in the deep. That was intentionally played in the air. She had to cover a lot of ground, at least 15 yards. Oh, that's, that's beautifully hit. For a moment, I thought Fatma Sana is in business, but she played it with some power all the way for a six by Henry. Played in typical West Indian fashion. Calypso style, high back lift. And again, over extra cover. One bounce, two bounce, and over the ropes for four. As I said, it's about the length. You cannot bowl full or up to these batters. They will put you away. This time, stand and deliver name of the game for Henry. Wait one second, offered. Chance taken. That's a big wicket in this context of the game. Wanted to go over the extra cover fielder. And Sadia Iqbal brought back to break the partnership, and she did. A very smart catch by Diana Beg, too. That's a big wicket. She was looking to go big. Henry did that a couple of times against Tuba. Once again, the flight was offered a bit, but ball brilliantly. And in the end, picture perfect completion by Diana. Discrete release, Henry. A huge relief for Pakistan. Sadia got another success. Chanel departs 23. Half of them are back 178 for five. On to the leg stump. Just tickled away towards onside. Will earn her a boundary. Definitely does. So. Wrong line, Adiana. Matthews now into her 90s. Wrong line for a batter who, sh who has spent more than almost 40 overs out there in the middle. This is not going to be a problem. Almost. Almost carried to Alia, but... This will give her Elena her first boundary towards cover. She took the risk and got the reward. They will have to clear the infield at many occasions during the last 10 overs. This is just the beginning perhaps for Elaine. That was a part of the plan for the baller and the fielder. That should do it. That cut shot should do it. The captain gets to 100. This is a fifth hundred. And the second against Pakistan, first in Pakistan and second outside the West Indies. Wow, what a knock. Richly deserved. Look at that smile on her face. The teammates are up on their feet, applauding the skipper. After a slow start and a fall of early wicket, she really come into her own and played a magnificent knock. Fatma Sana starts off with a long hop. Easy pickings for Matthews. She just helped it on it on its way. And that was a loose start for Fatma Sana. And Matthew just continues keeping these innings together and on course for a big total. Wow, that's sloppy. I think it was Sadia and four runs, unforced error and Pakistan feeling the heat in this bottom part of the innings and just missed it, a simple straightforward delivery. Yeah, the baller would never like that. And that should be a wicket. Oh. How did that get dropped? The captain. And there's a run out there. Oh. There's a run out because the partner just kept running. 
Oh my word, so there's a bit of a <laughs> confusion out here. First, very sloppy from the fielder and then very sloppy from the West Indian batter. Not the greatest piece of cricket that we'll see all day today. It was a tired looking shot and this is as easy as they come at this level. And then through Tuba had her wits about it because both the batters ended up at the same end. And Nashra Sindhu only had to whip off the bales. I think Matthews will survive because she was on strike and Elaine has to walk back. He's gone for 17, that partnership that was looking good. Matthews will find the fence. The loss of wicket wouldn't perturb her. She got a life on the previous delivery. But still concentrating hard enough to put the bad ball away. It was bad indeed. Angling on to her pads. You look at that. Just uh, launching that from the pitch of the ball. That's nicely done. That's a shot of a player who's batting at 114 and add four more to it. First, she was looking to drive that down the line, but then realize there's an opportunity of just opening the blade and playing it so fine to beat that short third. Patmasana continues to be expensive. She really kicks at the turf in disgust, but that was very, very well manufactured. Another chance of a run out. Another chance of a run out. Oh, we're going upstairs. Let's find out what happened there. It was clearly an opportunity because there was a bit of a hesitation in taking that single. Yeah, there was an obvious stutter. I don't know who went wrong because this went square off the wicket. You would assume that it would be non-striker's call. Waiting for the third umpire's decision. Well, nice bit of pick up there because it was awkward. She was running at full tilt. Najiha, she picked up the ball and easy decision, I would think, for the third umpire. It's Abdul Mukit, the TV umpire, says it's out. And here is the confirmation. Another wicket falls. Wicket number seven at 235. What a shot first up. Batting at number nine. Wow. That is splendid. And look at that smile on her face. That is really one of the moments of the day already. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. I think she's batting at the wrong number. That's the proper shot. And it's just not happening for Fatma Sana either. Yeah, picks that up onto the onside, the square leg region. She'll get another boundary. That's really very ordinary bowling from Fatma Sana. She's not finding her rhythm at all. Goes for another boundary in the over. That's three. Another slow delivery that went wrong from Fatma Sana. She's really looked out of color. And James has taken no time to settle in. That's again uh, nicely done. She's playing at will. She's, she's been hitting all the ballers through the day. That's the shot. Just making room. A little bit outside the Ostrom to open that onside up. That's a good shot. A little too full and uh, that'll be put away. Exactly like that. Also brings the 250 for the West Indies. <laughs> Gone right through the gate, is it? That's very well bowled. Gets her paid off for her brilliant and accuracy that she's been bowling with Nashra. And gets rid of James. That's wicket number eight. 
uh, 254. Have a look at that again. Wow, this is a classic left armers dismissal. Oh. Probably hitting the rough, going through the gate. Expensive drive there from James, who looked good in that first over against Path Masana. Completely bamboozled here. A little puff of dust as it clips the top of middle. And James will have to depart. Bright and breezy. At strike rate of 200 with two boundaries of just four deliveries. She's gone now. West Indies, 254 for eight. That should be four more. Well, I'm actually thinking, had she taken that top gear a little earlier, she might have challenged Arta Patel, who scored a 195 not out today. Final delivery of the innings. Plays that one on the onside. Will uh, just keep uh, themselves down to a single. She's done well to get to 140. Not out. Matthews, the captain. And taking the side 269 for 8 in their 50 overs. This batting card dominated by Haley Matthews. 140 of 150 deliveries. She carried her bat. She had a good partnership for the third wicket with Chemain Campbell who made 45. And West Indies ended up with a very formidable 269 for 8 in their 50 overs. Wickets for Sadia Iqbal and Tuba on return to international cricket for Pakistan. But in the middle period, there was lack of wickets and West Indies propelled. Pakistan will need to score 270 runs to win this first ODI here at the National Bank Stadium. Oh, cuts well. Beautiful shot by Moniba to get herself the first boundary. Bisma liked it, so did we, because it's very important to get that good start. Now look at that width given and capitalized on it. Beautiful shot. Seven in the first over without any loss, Pakistan. Uh oh, uh oh, it's in the air. It's in the air. And she takes it, beautifully taken. That is a big, big wicket. Sidra Amin just missed the full toss. Wanted to go over that mid-wicket fielder. Could only balloon it and what a catch that is by Henry. For a moment, it looked like the Chanel Henry had lost it somewhere in the grey skies of Karachi. But what a remarkable recovery. First thing first and that is, it is a legal delivery. And the rest is something. A bad delivery to begin with. Sidra Amin could not resist herself. They are checking from both the angles. She came down the track. The ball was dipping. She was even down on one knee. Oh yes, that's a big one. She'll have to walk back, Sidra Amin. I cannot really blame anyone but herself. The ball was there to be hit, but she was looking to hit it so hard. That could only balloon it up in the air. And what a catch that from the bowler herself. That's a big blow. Seven for one, Pakistan. Oh, wow. What a shot. Beautifully driven. Through the cover region for four. That is top class by Bisma. Oh, is there an edge? Is there an edge? Yes. Given out. Bisma goes. Another huge wicket for Canal this time. That is a big wicket, really. We were talking about business quality and skill. Not to be this time. She went through the covers on a different kind of delivery this time. It was a different length. Tried to negotiate it away once again out of the inner circle. But the thick edge and Russia the Williams. Did the rest behind the stumps. A great catch. Pakistan already in some sort. Bisma Maruf has departed. 24 for 2. Now that's timing. That's pure timing. The ball raced to the boundary. Also getting advantage of that pace on offer. Nidhatar just cuts that one through cover. Very few deliveries that has come right off the meat of her bat. 
and you could see that the results are there because this outfield is very fast. The sun has come out now. The door just leaning back, crunching it, finding the gap. And she manages to pierce that for a boundary. Six fielders on the offside. And she manages to get the 50 runs for Pakistan with that four. That uh, should be runs here. And uh, in fact, could be four. Almost reached there. And then the dive seemed to be on or over the ball. 19-year-old James, she really was in hot pursuit. He got to the ball, but couldn't pull it back. Nidadar using the pace cleverly. Very, very clever piece of batting there. All the hard work was done. Just that final bit didn't quite work out for James. Is there a glove? Yes, there is. Nasir Hussain nods his head and the captain goes. Captain gets captain and nothing can Matthews do wrong today. Although she's not happy with her delivery, you can see she's buried her head in her hands in disbelief because this was nothing special about this delivery, to be honest, and Matthews' reaction would suggest so. But Captain Nidadar has to walk back. Just a little glove and the easiest of catches. And umpire Nasir Hussain, the nod of the head, followed by the raise of the finger. Pakistan are three down now. The drinks have been called into play. 59 for three Pakistan. Nida goes for 19. One, 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 three. Oh, there's a chance of a run out here. The non strikers, there's trouble for Maniba. I think she's gone. Where was she going earlier? Was in no mood for that second. This is an absolute suicide. Oh, it's getting worse for Pakistan. Two wickets in quick succession. Muniba was running for that second run. And Alia had decided nice and early that she's not going to go. Muniba's innings has been cut short. Though she didn't look at her best, but she was still fighting. Quickly played. I think it was Muniba's call. And Alia just refused the single, sold her partner down the river. Muniba gone for 21. And Pakistan's run chase is stuttering. 65 to 4. Turn beats everyone. Much needed boundary for Pakistan. By signaled by Empire. That's nicely swept. A boundary after 45 deliveries of the bat of Fatima Sana. That will give her lots of confidence. Yes, attacking the new baller is the strategy Fatima has chosen to execute. Oh no, oh no. Should be taken. Is taken. Fatima Sana goes. Just when we were talking about that this partnership is building. She's played such a horrible shot to lose her wicket. It's not required, not expected of Fatma Sena. Can't help it now. She'll have to move back. Yes, it was a ball going away from Fatma. And against the ball, she has played that shot. And an easy catch at the end by the baller. And Fatma has gone for 10 runs and 23 deliveries. 93 for 5. But then the question would be, who do you leave out in the 11? That's a boundary, for sure. That's been struck hard, swept away by Najiha. But who could they leave out? I'll leave this to Akil Sama. In the meantime, a brilliant shot. Stretched it all the way, drafted it on the onside found the gap and utilized it with perfection again there's a shout again at this time given too many sweeps attempted 
This time the ball pitches and straightens up. Seem like it's leg. But Alia, his reaction suggests something else. Has she got any bat on it? She has been absolutely disgruntled or perhaps it is related to her fitness. Right in front of the stumps. It was straightening up in that trajectory going bang into the middle stump. So finally she has to that, that dreadful long walk back to the dugout. Another one bites the dust. Pakistan in deep rebels 100 for 6 in Karachi. That's a bottom edge. There are more runs here. And it just speeds up and it rolls over that advertising. Yeah, it's a boundary. Yeah, just try to play with, with some kind of cleverness in the end. Found the boundary. Never mind how they come because they are most likely not going to make an impact. But they, oh, that has to be very close. Has to be very close. Yes. The finger is raised. Another one down. This time it's Tuba Hassan. Tuba Hassan is not looking happy. Was there two noises? Did she get an inside edge onto the pad? Because she walked away from the appeal towards square leg and was really surprised. This one hitting flush on the pad. Obviously, no bad. Nasser Hussain has been in the thick of the action today. Once again, raises his finger. And Tuba's little knock, little cameo has come to an end. And Pakistan slumped further. Tuba gone for 25. 137 for 7, Pakistan. Oh, what a take. Haley Matthews could do no wrong today. This was a sensational grab, hit pretty firmly by Najiha, but she'll have to walk back and the West Indian skipper is really been on the roll today. Super performance with the bat, with the ball and with the field, with the hands, great catching. It was hit hard, it was traveling and look at that, beautiful. Similar what Nashra had an opportunity, she dropped one. But there was no way Matthews was dropping this one. Another batter got, got the start. Could not quite capitalize it. Scored 20. It's 149 for 8. Wizard! Given. Caught behind. that simple but she's she's just checking that she didn't hit it nobody knows what's happening but the umpire is certain that she has edged it doesn't matter what she thinks what umpire thinks will happen it's bizarre here because i think diana thought that the appeal was there for the stumping and she was pretty confident she wasn't but the signal had come from umpire polosak caught behind and diana didn't know because look she's not looking at the umpire but eventually she was told that you're caught behind, so you have to go. And she is going now. And Pakistan slumps. West Indies getting close to getting that first victory. Diana going for 10. Pakistan 154 for 9. In the air and gone. That wraps up the first ODI between the West Indies and Pakistan. And once again, the West Indies have beaten the home side in their backyard with a big margin here wrapping up pakistan for 155 when the total to win was 270 so it, it won't be wrong to say that they've outplayed the home side in this encounter after winning the toss and this was the last wicket he's trying to cut that nothing on it and backward point does the job so with the captain Haley matthews scoring a big 100 150 and the score being 269, it was just always way too much for the home side. Pakistan was never in the chase, to be very honest. Pakistan's batting lineup completely capitulated under pressure. Plenty of starts, but no one could quite go on and make that meaningful contribution. And as a result, they were bowled out inside 36 overs for 156 runs.
West Indies' bowling and fielding effort was terrific. Three wickets for Haley Matthews, two for James, but their ground fielding and effort in the field was also splendid. 22 extras is something that the West Indies management will have a close look at. And this is how it looked in terms of match summary. Complete domination by West Indies. Target of 269 on the back of a magnificent 100 from Haley Matthews. Just proved too much for the home side. Who got bowled out inside 36 overs for 156 runs and West Indies ran away with a comprehensive winners by the margin of 113 runs. Hope you enjoyed the highlights. It's time to say goodnight from National Bank Stadium in Karachi.